Hi everybody, happy Friday, and welcome back to those who are returning. Welcome here to people who are new. So happy that everyone stopped in. This is um, Kathy. Uh, welcome to Yarn with Heart. Uh, today, I am going to be talking a little bit about a twist on the gift cupboard items and also about a couple of mysteries that I have discovered. I have a finished item and also a work in progress to show and a couple of my, I would say, usual items that I have been making each month and I wanted to continue to make those and participate in those during May. So uh, next month, I will be talking about a couple of blankets. And also, I would love to um, do, I would say, an update and a roundup of the items that I've done for casting off the cold because each May I meet with Sally who coordinates casting off the cold and give the items that I have made so far to her and that gives um, a little bit more storage space in my apartment so I can keep making from May through October and then October is the timing when they distribute the casting off the cold items to those uh, organizations that receive from them. So that's planned for next week. And if you'd like, you can subscribe and hit the notification bell. And that way you won't miss next Friday's video. So on to um, items for this week. Now the first mystery is actually a mystery crochet along and I started this last week. Um, it's by Rami Hill. It's called The Way Leads On To Way um, Knit Along. I got to start on this. I'm not the fastest knitter so I have uh, been doing a little bit each day. Here is what I've done so far. Now I thought I would use um, a weight three yarn and so therefore make things a little easier for me. What I discovered is uh, the pattern called for a 3.5 knitting needle and this yarn that I'm using which is a bamboo uh, and acrylic a bamboo and cotton blend, I believe. It's Bamboo Fair by Premier. 60% bamboo, 40% cotton. It actually called for a 3.75 millimeter uh, knitting needle. So I am, I am getting familiar with using a lot smaller knitting needle than I previous have, previously have used. So that's been a challenge. I've learned a few new stitches. That's been good. One of the things that I did was I used a large needle and some scrap yarn to practice one of the stitches because it was very, for me, it was a challenge. And I thought, let me try it with the scrap yarn first. And that way I wouldn't have to frog quite so many times. At the beginning of this shawl, I did have to frog uh, a few times. I've, that's to be completely honest. But once I got caught on to it, it's coming along quite nicely. I'll move over a bit so I can put a picture here of um, the progress so far. I am not quite finished the first week of the, the uh, challenge and they will be coming out very soon with the second week but I'm not in any hurry. I'm just going to go at my own pace and realize that I might finish slow, 
slowly and later than some of the other people. And I'm good with that. I'm just going to enjoy the process. And I do have to admit that it's fun because it keeps the, the stitch pattern keeps changing. So I'm having fun uh, with the mystery of what will happen next and um, learning what different combinations of knit stitches look like as the pattern progresses. So that's been really fun. Now, the next item that I've just started is again another mystery and this is a mystery crochet along this one is by two of my favorite crochet designers Helen from Sunflower Cottage Crochet and um, Ambassador Crochet I've forgotten her name I think Crystal I will put the name of um, her here and I will link to all of these um, roundups and patterns down in the description. Now, this one is called the Adventure Blanket Crochet Along, and I've done the first week of this. You choose your colors that you'd like to work with, and then each week, it's sort of like, guess your own adventure books, where they ask a question, and then depending on your answer to the question, you will knit, uh, you will crochet one pattern or a, um, a second option. So this was my pattern that I crocheted during the first week. And they will have a Tuesday email and a Friday email that comes out each week. So I'm looking forward to the next um, uh, strip that I will be making. This one, depending on the yarn you use, you might use a, a weight three or you might use a weight four yarn. Mine was a weight four yarn. So um, this is about 60 inches in the length and I rather than making these in this way I'm gonna have my blanket go in this direction so it will be a casting off the cold blanket in 60 inch length and then I will make it 48 inches in the width and then that can be uh, part of my casting off the cold donations these are the colors that I'm going to be using I'm going to be using this light blue the dark blue and this one these are all Brava 500 yarns uh, custard celestial blue and um, I can't see the color of this light blue um, sorry about that Clarity is the light blue color. I'm trying to decide at this point whether to do the join in this dark blue or whether to take this off and do the join in white and then have three colors for the, the stripes of the blanket. So I'm still trying to decide what to do with that. So that is um, mystery make a long number two. Now, the finished item that I just completed, I'm so happy with this one. This is for the Ottawa Hospital. Um, and this is coordinated by Art Junkie Shannon. It will go to an Ottawa hospital where children, this will be for a toddler or a preschooler. 
the pattern is uh, fruity stripes. I need to refer to my notes here to see the name of the designer. Oh, Tiffany and Hannah of Daisy Farm Crafts. It was a free pattern on Yarnspirations, and I used a five millimeter hook and Bernat Softy Baby Stripes in the color Finger Paint. There we go. So with this pattern, I'll hold it close so you can see the texture. I love the texture of this pattern. Now when I weighed my finished blanket, it was 800 grams, but I did use a five of the 200 gram balls of this yarn. I had to use part of the fifth one because I had to color match a little bit um, in order to get the stripes to go in sequence on this blanket. And the finished size meets the size requirement uh, for this hospital's um, needs and also um, it was 36 by 48 in the size and I found out why they request that the stitch pattern be solid. It is so that the medical equipment that they use at the hospital won't get tangled up inside the stitches of the blankets. So this one will be one of the ones that goes on its way to Ottawa for Shannon to bring to the hospital. I hope to make a second one to go together with this, so I won't send it quite yet. I'm planning to make a second to go along, alongside it. Now, there are two other uh, make-alongs that I like to participate in each, uh, each month. One of them is by Judy's Creations in Crochet, and her inspiration picture for the Tropical Bird of the Month has poppin' colors. It is, uh, it looks to me like a toucan, and I am really looking forward to seeing the finished items for her, um, for this May Tropical Bird Crochet Along and make along. So anything goes. You could weave, you could crochet, you could knit. Some people have uh, hand dyed yarn and submitted that as part of their um, item that they submitted pictures to Judy. So if you'd like, you can pop over to her channel and see the picture and make something to submit to her. Um, also, Rosanna from uh, Crochet's, uh, from Crochet with Nona Rosanna. She has her book Inspiration. And I had such fun last month with her, um, her April Inspiration. And I'm going to uh, try again this month. Her book is, uh, an interesting book. I found out you do not have to read the book to participate. A few months ago, I thought that was part of it, but no, no, you can just use the colors from the book cover and make something and send the picture in to her of the item that you made. Uh, the books have been, uh, the books have been suggested by her viewers and are very good books. So if you do decide to, they are um, nice and good reads, but you don't have to read the book to participate. So those are the things that I'm going to be uh, doing this month. Another one that is... Uh, I hope to do, and this is my own uh, twist on my gift cupboard. I'm going to show a picture up here of something that happened to me. I don't have enough 
plants in my collection to do a separate plant channel, but I had such a wonderful surprise. My Hoya plant is in a glorious bloom, and it made me realize what what a beautiful thing to choose a yarn for a gift for someone who nurtures us. And it could be a gift for oneself, a gift for someone who's a neighbor, a gift for someone you'd like to send something to. It doesn't have to be for mom. May would be a nice time just to bless somebody. And to be honest, we often bless others, but wouldn't it be nice to do something with a color of yarn that's our favorite color or a yarn that we've been saving for something special and do something nice for ourselves? So that was one of the things I'm going to challenge myself to do that this month, find one of my favorite yarns and for my gift cupboard items this month, maybe do something special for me. So there we go. And um, if you'd like, I, I am going to include at the end of this video, a sh short couple of minutes of my Hoya plant. And a little bit of that is for me because I don't have a channel to include it. I just would like to keep a record of how wonderful it looks and maybe to share a bit of that with each of you. Some of you might enjoy flowers as well and it would be a way to um, share the love of that. So to everybody, thank you so much for joining. Have a wonderful weekend. Enjoy your crochet. Enjoy your knitting. And I hope to see you next Friday. And for those of you who like plants, stay for the next couple of minutes and there's a treat to see my Hoya plant. This is a video this, of my Hoya plant that I've had for years. It is doing really, really well. Um, and a week ago, it started blooming. I am so surprised by how many blooms that it has. I wanted to take a video just to show. How many are on here? This is, it shocked me. It is a large plant. It's in about a 10 inch pot. And I have a garden trellis that it's climbing on. Um, it has been having some yellowing leaves, so I think it needs some uh, fresh soil. After it's finished blooming, I will take care of that. The fragrance is absolutely spectacular on these blooms. I will show. There we go. I have a second toy plant and it has not bloomed. So I'm not sure why, if it's a very of the type of plant, perhaps. Um, they're both in the same area of the room and treated in the same way. But wow, you can see there's more blooms in behind here. I haven't counted how many. just wanted to record a short video just so I could 
capture this moment. Thank you for watching.